Hey, it's Mike Adam from SEO Perth. Just a quick one today. I wanted to show you how to do uh, these things. These are called um, bookmarklets. I'm in Firefox at the moment. So first I'll show you how to do it, then I'll show you what it does. So to create this one here into DNS, right click uh, and what is it? New bookmark, uh, and you would call it into DNS. Let's call it two, just so that there's no confusion. Uh, and then we grab this code, which I'll um, I'll throw into the uh, either into the video or the post, and um, put it in there. Uh, and it's there. That's easy enough. Okay. So now what we do is uh, I'll show you how it works. So I've gone over to Google, uh, and all you do is you click this, and basically it changes this, as you can see, into, into DNS, uh, and it takes off the dub dub dub. Uh, if you've got any other subdomain, uh, it's going to cause an issue for this particular one. So um, uh, yeah, this, is, this is just a, a rough one. If someone wants to program a better one, um, let me know. Um, but yeah, so, so it'll pull the domain name. If it comes up with an issue, then just delete the subdomain. Um, but yeah, so uh, it comes up with that. Or, you know, same thing if you if you want to check who the hosting is and it changes it across. As you can see, that was the domain that I had. Um, pretty, pretty simple. Um, the last one is a rich snippet testing tool. And in this case, um, this uh, contact page of mine is uh, semantically marked up. So if you wanted to have a look at what that looks like in Google, it's a case of just clicking the rich snippet tool and it pulls it up and tells you all the information about it. So um, that's all I've got for you today. I'll see you in another video. This is Mike Hayden from SEO Perth. Have a great day.